helping me kill some evil bastard. Hi gamers and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 The Blind Blade. In the last episode we admitted defeat and turned down the difficulty a bit. I'm still a bit salty to be honest. <laughs> but in this episode we will continue our journey through the uh, Goblin City. And I have some uh, reinforcement today. My coffee. <laughs> Even though it's an iced coffee today. Because cause I can. Iced protein coffee. I love it. Okay, now let me quickly check the map. I want to go straight north and defeat the next goblin leader, I guess. No, you can't catch a break. Wait, I wanted to uh, distribute my healing potions a bit better. So, 2-2, two, two, I need to split item. Okay, I will get 2. And everyone else gets 1. So that I do have or what's the fairest distribution I can think of? What is this? Goal of Detect Thoughts. You know what? All scrolls go to uh, Gale. This might be the best thing. Protection from evil and good. And Scroll of Thunder Wave. Roll of Expedious Retreat. <coughs> okay. But I also got a key from the last boss. You know what? I'll just have a quick look at the uh, door that we were unable to open last time. But this time we should be able to. Unless we got the... What was it called? Princess key? Priestess Quarter Entrance. <clears throat> what is going on here? Skull Lantern. Oh, what are you? Holma? Bodyguard of the High Priestess. Should speak up. Hello there. You've set foot in a restricted <clears throat> area. A swift exit may be in order. Uh, no. He doesn't seem to be too uh, clever. Or she is. This is a uh, bra. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to know, honestly. Uh, I belong here. Uh, deception, intimidation, persuasion. I'll go with intimidation. I'm good at it. Oh, 22. I don't think I'm that good, <laughs> but let's give it a try. 15 at least, 16. Oh boy. I knew it was a great idea to bring Shadowheart with me. <laughs> you managed to talk your way in. No easy feat. Okay, now where am I? I'm not supposed to be. Door to... Shattered Sanctum. I am here. Okay, that that's the door over there. Is there something interesting here around? What is this? Uh, just some stuff. Something over there. What is this? Not a chance I'll fit in there. Hmm. I don't think I'll... Uh, I don't know. Would I go in there if I was a halfling? Or a gnome? I don't know. Make it a bit 
make it a bit brighter here. Okay. What is this thing? Stone disc? Is this some kind of riddle or so? Something over there. I think it might be. Here goes nothing. Oh, there's a lever. Looks like all those moon plates can be turned. Can I turn them with a lever or? Okay. Hmm. How are they supposed to be turned? Hmm. I have no idea what I'm what I'm doing right now. So the inner four are white. That's not what it's what is working. Ah, I see. Okay, this ah, this one is illuminated. So I guess it has to do something with this one. So maybe. Can no, it, it this doesn't make sense, honestly. Nope. Ugh. What am I doing? I'm, I'm un unconcentrated. Okay, all four white is not an option. Doesn't make sense. black and the last one as well this goes very far down we'll have to go in to see the bottom what goes very far down I I, I, I didn't see what oh there nice Saving, always keep saving. I have to rem remind myself to uh, save all the time. I tend to uh, fail at saving regularly in games. That's a bit of a, a bummer. And you have to replay several. Oh my god, that's deep. Dude. is becoming a monster i've faced countless perils and conquered them all this will be no different i've always had a soft spot for the confident ones they always disappoint them. this is an oil barrel i sense some kind of fight going on in the future here the oil barrels in here a rope and some tongs there's something glowing the statue is glowing some way ah, I shouldn't close the gate behind me if I should need to flee it's in here a torch okay What is what is this? <clears throat> my my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption, or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. Raphael, 
What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Nah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure if it's... I'm oh, sorry, I had to... I had to violently sneeze. <laughs> okay, uh, pleasure, I'm Telerona. Uh, am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Um, pretty worse, if you want to threaten me, don't disguise it, walk away. Uh, I don't want to start a fight right now. I don't. I don't know his intention. So I'm, I'm polite. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Middle of somewhere. Yeah, can you be more specific than somewhere? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Obviously. Oh, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. makes you say that i'm getting tired of your games all these theatrics leading somewhere <laughs> okay this uh could be me <laughs> love eating that's why i'm fat <laughs> all these theatrics leading some I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what i would say <laughs> are you not entertained well far be it from me to disappoint So you're a devil, aren't you? What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Savior? What, what makes you think I need saving? Why would you help me? I don't care what you are. Okay, I don't care what you are, I care what you want. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. Mm -hmm. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all. Like that. Hmm, this sounds like a Faust uh, situation. I serve an oath, not a devil. Uh, uh, I, I broke my oath, so <laughs> yeah, but, but he doesn't know probably. I'd fix it or die at my hand. You're mad if you think I'll make a deal with the devil. I need to think this over. I'm a paladin. Your oath is in tatters, paladin. Oh, he knows. <laughs> you abandoned your honor. <laughs> oh, damn it. it became inconvenient. But the darkness won't save you any more than the light could. You'll realize that in time. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such 
much at ease. And if I don't want to take this deal, how would I... Uh, if I do want to take this deal, how would I find you? I'll have at least... Uh, I'll have the last laugh in the end. Take me back. After that, I never want to see you again. I'll rip out your mocking tongue. Uh, yeah, as, as a last resort, maybe. I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, nope. you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. What was that? Have you guys seen that? Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. So you saw him We've too. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you <clears> make of him? <throat> hmm. I don't know, to be honest. He's a devil, we shouldn't trust him. Simple as that. Wisdom, use your shared connection to read her thoughts. I don't think I, have, I should in, in, in invade her thoughts like that. I'm actually not sure. I suppose it was a lot to take in. A devil sought us out, teased us with his help, but he also stared as if we were the banquet, rather than the one on the table. Yep. We can't hedge our bets here. Best we decide how to deal with him, if at all. Actually, if Raphael can truly offer help, maybe we should consider it. I'm still unsure he could be a help to us or not, alright? Perhaps we shouldn't trust Raphael. He's a devil after all. Enough about me. What do you think it's best? I mean, as I said, is it is some kind of situation like uh, back in the days with the Faust. He sold his soul. Do I remember it correctly? Ah, whatever. Good. Uh, school is quite some some days ago. <laughs> uh, all right. Maybe we shouldn't trust Raphael. He's deaf, Raphael. I think he will. Uh, he could actually cure us. I'm pretty sure about that. But I think he would. Uh, it it would require some. Let's say sacrifices, and I'm not willing to uh, sacri sacrifice my uh, self or something else to a devil. Good, you got there eventually. He's clever. My order uses the same tactic when dealing with enemies of Shah. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes. The victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. So, who are Shar's enemies? Who receives this treatment? I didn't realize you were so well-versed in mental and emotional torment. I think I detected a note of admiration in your voice. Yeah, I think I'm pretty glad that I made the right choice not to trust this the dude. Perhaps you didn't. See? <coughs> Sowing doubt is an old trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Why were you in pain before? That's a good question. Maybe she's ready. The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. So you knew more about... So you more is... Well, come on. So you knew more than you were letting before. I hope you'll be on... Come on, stop, stop pushing, poor girl. Why would Shara subject you to such a thing? What causes it to hurt you? How can you manage living with such a thing? Is there any, anything I can do to help with it? 
I don't think so. But mm. you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Okay. What caused it causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Okay. Why would Shah subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. Turn to other matters. Mm, I want to talk about your, about your Shah worship. You know, we, we can do all of this in, in the camp and not in this damp uh, dungeon here. I want to talk about you, what's happened to us. We should journey. Sub no, hell no. Okay. Let's have a closer look at. Oh, there's a fast travel waypoint. Cool. Interesting. <clears throat> hmm. Would this thing come in handy at, at some point here? I don't know. Okay. Can I pick this? What is there? Agree. So, selenite key and tethered notes. Let's have a look at the tethered notes, shall we? Read. This place is dark, but the lady's light shines yet. Just as the drow had almost broken through, Jeros rallied the last of the initiate. Initi in, in, in <laughs> initiates and charged forth. For a moment, the cavern shone with Saloon's own brilliance. I'd, I'd have gladly gone with them, wound or not, but Jeros bade me stay and hold the gate until his return. I am to keep the records too. I'll save space to write of his victory. It's been days hours since we uh, collapsed the tunnel they were supposed to return after the battle i cannot dig it out on my own my eyes won't get used to this darkness but i can hear them stripping the dead i'm sorry i haven't learned the the death rites yet but i will hold uh, but i will hold the gate i promise this final final entry is barely visible more faint scratches than legible writing. Sorry. Okay, uh, um, he, he wanted to. Looks empty. Yeah, it does. He wanted to hold the gate. What is what? What, what kind of area is this? Is this is this the underdark, or the entrance to the underdark? I don't know. More stuff for the cell. I saw you training those children. You were so gentle. 
That's not how I was taught. Cruel words strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadow. I wouldn't quite say that. I learned the lesson, after all. And came to resent your tutor, I bet. I taught them to fight, not to hate. I'm going to for Kent, but there's clearly a book in search of the night song. What does it say? Fascinating that such a seemingly valuable object has proven proven so difficult to track down. Indeed, treasure hunters the realm over have traveled to the salt coast with one goal in mind: find the night song. Yet, each by each they have failed, indicating dead ends, rebuffs or else disappearing altogether. My latest inquiry was with a half-orc named Grelly, who insisted he'd come as close as possible to the relic as one may go without forfeiting his or her life. He indicated that the object is not as most reports indicate in the Selunate Selenite uh, fort adjacent to the river Hyonthar, I don't know. It is in fact held in an old Sharon fortress somewhere in the environs of Moonrise Towers. However, Grelly reported that some kind of potent shadow prevents one from approaching where this fortress might be. 